good man it's your boy hustle and i'm back at it again and today we're going to be customizing this uh and this 300r aka the um the new z that's supposed to come out the prototype um but yeah man we're going to get into the customization options and see what this thing about um fenders basically you got a few options i'm gonna put um Probably the secondary bolted arch on. I didn't even put these on when I when I did my car the first time, but I'm gonna put them on now. Uh, front bumpers. Um, you have 13 options. I like the carbon splitter. At first, I wasn't gonna put one on it, but it kind of matched the side skirts, so I'm gonna put the um carbon split on there but like I said you got 13 options they look pretty good um but the second one to me kind of goes with what I got going on so yeah I'm gonna put that one all right engine option you got engine covers and then you can do the painted joint they got 14 different options expose engine cover I mean, make it look realistic, I guess, 3D when you pop the hood. So we're going to probably put a, one of these on. Probably the primary exposed engine cover. I'm going to go with that one. Um, exhaust. They already had some nice factory exhaust. But, of course, I want mine a little bit bigger, so I might go with these right here. Carbon entity exhaust. So yeah, we're gonna go with that one. Vent uh, hoods. You got, I think that's 15 options. Um, a lot of these look good, but I'm gonna go with the exposed engine, the carbon. Say vanity hood. So we're gonna go with that one. This one looked good if the lights wasn't <clears throat> the way that they were. But anyway, yeah. Um, that vanity hood. It's a little bit different. Then you got the transparent hood where you, I guess you can see. Um, I don't know what that does, but, but yeah, man, I got some good options on here. Um, lever leveries. Um, I didn't put anything on. They look okay. I just kept it two tone with the black hood and you know what I mean the red paint. I think that goes better. Mirrors, um, you got carbon, then you got these different options. I just left my factory. Um, it just go with the look of the car better. Um, red panel, you have uh, like three options size stop so I just kept it the way it was because I got the black top um, roof like I said you got 12 different options um, I like the black look I do like the carbon too but um, I'm gonna go with the inset roof because it give it a little bit more contrast like detail it's not just plain Jane so yeah I went with this one the black with the set but the carbon look good too but we'll go with the black the gloss black skirts um i just went with the carbon because it's simple like i said they be they be putting doing too much with the shark fins or whatever you know around the sides of the car they don't look right to me so simply clean that's the motto the model my bad <laughs> Spoilers, you got some good options. But since my car is not like, you know, it's real simple and sleek, I'm gonna go with the primary wedge ducktail. I really like the ducktail because uh, it actually, it's not doing too much, but it give it a little bit of, you know, depth or whatever. So I went with that one, but they got some nice options on there. To me, some of them make it look like a Porsche a little bit in the back 
if y'all remember, I think the 1996 Porsche that looked like this is kind of round. I mean, some people don't know that, but anyway. And then basically the tenant windows, because like I said, wheel options we already know. So I'm gonna pour this thing out the garage and we're gonna check it out on the outside, see what it looked like. But yeah, man, that's the look right here. I got the red candy paint with the black top, black accents and black trim, black and red seats with the black rims. And you know what I mean? That's the look. I think the car looks really good. And, um, you know, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. 